In today's video, I'm going to be comparing eight different proposal softwares to help you decide which is the best one for your needs. These are going to be eight different proposal tools with all slightly different uh, pros and cons, and I'm going to walk through all of them. So first of all, what makes a good proposal software and what am I judging them based on? Well, first of all, ease of use. The best proposal apps are easy to use, they're simple, they're fast, and they allow you to get everything sorted very quickly without all of the hassle. Next up we have accuracy. You want them to be accurate. So things are the saved content, the customized templates. We want it so it's all accurate and you can trust the information is included in all of them without extra effort. Automation, so this is things like sending proposals automatically, um, generative AI, email campaigns, all of these different things which help you to send your proposals and keep them up to date. And lastly, a diverse range of features. So things like templates, content libraries, CRM tools, uh, all of that kind of thing. So let's get right into it. First of all, on our list of eight, we have PandaDoc. Now PandaDoc is a very simple to use software. The interface is very, very simple. It has a ton of different templates and it has excellent customer service. You can sign up for a 14 day trial very easily. Now, you do have reduced functionality unless you're on the essentials plan, which can be a little bit expensive. But with that being said, it is still good. And if you log into it and look at all the different products they have and the solutions they have, it's a very, very easy one to go ahead and use and it's used by many. You can see they've got this builder here which allows you to build these forms and templates and things like that very easily. And you can easily connect up all of these different apps. So you can connect your CRMs and you can also do things like signing signatures which are going to be legally binding. Um, you've got all that. So here's some of the features, proposals, quotes, contracts, e-signatures, forms, payments. So this is the first one I'd go ahead and recommend taking a look at. Next up, on our list, we have Proposify. And this is a really, really good tool that gives you some really good design. So you're allowed, you're able to design some really good proposals inside of here. The drag and drop functionality is very useful. Um, and as you see here, you've got your intros, your services, your pricing. Um, it's very, very easy to use. And you've also got things like your dynamic names here. You can change all these details here. As you can see, the drag and drop features and the, just the overall builder, very, very easy to use. So that's one of the other pros. You've also got the analytic breakdown by document, which is very useful for breaking down the documents for you and your clients. And then some of the cons of it is that the editor can be a little bit buggy sometimes. But if you go onto the platform, you can see all of the different features they have here. They've got their proposals here. Uh, this is the template editor I've been talking about. They have a lot of, they have the content library permissions and they have the reports as well. So this is a good one that you can go ahead and try and use. Next up on our list, we have Quiller. So this is a very good one, which allows you to make very nicely presented um, proposals. And it also has payment integrated. But you can see here, the builder is very nice and it their big focus is on the aesthetic of it. So making your proposals and templates look professional so that you can beat your competition in that way. You can see here they've got their sales templates and you can go and view them. And if I go ahead and preview it here, you'll be able to see that it is very nice. Once it loads, you can see it's very cool. It looks very professional, very easy to read. And there's a lot of different functionality you can have of it. You got things like these sliders, which are really cool package selection and then obviously you've got here you've got your payments directly integrated into it so this is a really really good one for the building and the aesthetic one of the downsides is that the quoting options and things like that are not super flexible so some of the features are not available um, in here next up on our list we have responsive so responsive is a another one of these and the ai or the ui is not as nice so the builder, the way that it looks is not as nice as the other ones, but it does have a lot of AI features. So you can see here, it uses AI and it's kind of pushing the um, 
market in terms of AI functionality for this kind of software. This one is definitely more for uh, strate strategic responses and nurturing uh, customers and trying to get them to sort of be sold. So it's more of like a sales platform in a way than just for proposals. It also has the other things like the project management system, um, which the other ones do not have. Now, some of the downsides about this software is that it's a little bit complicated for users to use. As you can see here, it's just not got as nice a UI and it's a little bit more complicated. And the add-on tools can be expensive. So the pricing here can be expensive as you add different features. But this is a good one to look into if you want more things to do with strategic responses and that kind of thing. Next up on our list, we have Lupio. So this here, this one here is um, good for built-in response processing when you're scaling a business and it has collaborations and allows you to win more deals and things like that. It allows you to do things like monthly customer check-ins. Uh, you can auto-populate proposals from a library, so it's good if you're doing this at scale. But some of the downsides are it's not super good for building a good looking um, product or a good looking proposal. Uh, the plans aren't that great for small teams. So if you look at them, they can be a little bit expensive and you're going to have to speak to them for the pricing. And you're also going to get limited notification options in terms of responding and that kind of thing. Next up on the list, we have Jotform. This has a wide range of templates, as you can see here, and it has all of these integrations as well. So you can integrate with your um, CRM, you can integrate with your storage, your email, your payments, all of these, which make it really good for an all-in-one platform. As you can see here, they have all of these built-in templates. Um, so this is another one which kind of focuses on the ease of use and also the simplicity for the customer and the way that it looks overall. It's very user-friendly. Uh, which is very good. Now, it doesn't have so much data in terms of analytics. And to use the uh, some of the advanced forms, you're going to have to upgrade to the pricing plan. But in terms of pricing, it's kind of expensive, but they do have a free plan here. But you can go ahead and see if this fits your needs, as this is quite a good one for other things as well. As you have more than just proposals, you have a lot of different form options here that you can go ahead and create here. Next up, we have Nusi. This one is a really nice drag and drop interface, as you can see here. It sends reminders and follow-ups to clients, which is very useful. And it also has a ton of ready-to-use proposal templates, which are simple to use. And they're um, made specifically for some niches. You can see SEO, you can see interior design, all of that. Now, it's a little bit hard to save and the CRM integrations are pretty lim limited, but they do have a free trial, which you can go ahead and look at. Lastly, on the list, we have Bonsai. This one here allows you to merge proposal tools or it's a merge of proposal tools and a CRM. You can do things like send contracts, proposals, invoices and forms all in one platform. So it's pretty nice. And it's also got a nice aesthetic, which is pretty easy to use, as you can see here. Um, and it's got all of these different features. Here. So it has a lot of features. The templates are a little bit limited overall. And also the pricing structure is a little bit expensive. $39 a month plus $10 for, per user. So it's going to add up quickly and it's not going to be super cheap for a big team. But it does have a lot of integrations here. But those are my eight recommendations for proposal softwares. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.